Army of the Dead is directed by the man, the myth, the legend, the infamous Zack Snyder. Stars Dave Bautista, where he gets called to break into a bank in Las Vegas to retrieve millions of dollars during the zombie apocalypse. Now you might wonder why the hell does money still matter in a world where zombies have just taken over? Well, that's not entirely accurate. Turns out the outbreak was more of an epidemic than a pandemic. <laughs> Pretty much all the zombies were just in that Las Vegas area. And there the government walled up like that whole entire spot and surrounded that whole spot with these uh, crates and stuff so it keeps the zombies out and everything. But everything in the world is, is still functioning. People can still go to restaurants, you know, people haven't lost their jobs all that much. I mean, some did, but you know, jobs are still there. It's just no more gambling or ship clubs. As the saying goes, what, what happened in Vegas <laughs> really did stay in Vegas. <laughs> now, the movie is probably the most Zack Snyder movie you will ever see. It sort of takes from his Dawn of the Dead film a bit, but it's not so much like a, like a copycat from Dawn of the Dead, but it really is still Snyder back to the true form. Apparently, he said that Netflix gave him all the power to just do what he wanted with this film and <laughs> can i say he spared no expense <laughs> the movie is really violent uh it has his signature uh intro style of slow motion where he's telling the the intro in 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 this super slow motion way where there's like a soundtrack playing in the background and you know the bloated runtime you know you know, all Snyder stuff. But what can I really say? You know, it, it, it's a zombie flick, okay? And I, Zack Snyder is one of the few directors that does the best, in my opinion. It's just a fun, bloody good time. You know, with still enough story there to, to care about. The characters are fun, you know, uh, not the best written, but you know, they're still fun enough to, you know, watch a zombie flick through. Now, and some are, some are a bit tropey. I, I can admit, you know, like you got like uh, the lady with the cigar and, 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 uh, and the, the, the Hispanic duo wearing the headband and things like that, but not like the way Michael Bay would have done it. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Dave Bautista surprisingly gives a solid performance. It's a little on the dramatic side this time, but damn, he, did a good job man i'm just glad to finally see him play something with layers you know it's not like he's the best written character or nothing like that but it, it did give him something to 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 show a little bit of his range you know and, and, I, and i really did appreciate that you know i think he he hit it out the park it's also it's also pretty funny too you know with you know you got some of the crew sort of just saying dry dry jokes to each other you know the humor i mean it, i didn't expect it to be as funny as it was i mean it's not hilarious but you know it, it's just nice to chuckle finally for you know to a film like this you know now i know that people are going to like criticize the runtime of it but i think i can explain this typically when it comes to films like this you know you want to keep it maybe around two hours or something like that but one of the things that i appreciate about this film and particularly with Zack snyder um and the way he does his movies is that he allows his films to uh uh show a little bit of, a little bit of development you know especially for a film like this because this film has a lot of characters in it I'm talking like maybe uh what one like maybe eight characters or so you know and it's gonna be impossible to just learn about all these characters and you guys know me i'm, I'm a very character person like i need to know or at least care enough about these characters to keep on going through with the story the film allows time for you to kind of grow on them a little bit you know and, and, and i appreciated that you know and i'm not, not gonna run time at all for that because you know it, they talk about stuff that's important you know and it's not just wasted filler i mean you learned about the relationship between scott and his unbearable brat of a daughter <laughs> I mean, look, I'm, I'm sorry I, look, she look, she she just she just annoyed me in, in some scenes okay i mean she had she just she just made some dumb choices and i, I was just, look, let's just move on i really thought going into this movie it was going to be just like a c movie popcorn 90 minute flick you know with some netflix budget effects and instead, I got a little bit more than I was expecting. With still some Netflix budget effects. But hey, look, they had some effort in it. They're not all bad. There was some effort in there. I can, I can see a little bit of it. So 
you know, you get some point. But the most interesting thing to me about this movie was the zombie lore. I'm sorry. I, I think the the, MB, the MVP of this whole film was probably the zombie. The way these zombies are, aren't like any of the zombies you've ever seen before. Okay, maybe that's not entirely true. You got fast zombies, strong zombies, sluggish zombies, but it's all in one film. And I thought that was genius. I'm sorry. I mean, I, I love that shit. It's like they have a structure to them that's 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 very orderly and and sophisticated. I mean, they can communicate with each other and, and they actually have intelligence. I almost thought that we was gonna have like a Planet of the Apes moment and have them actually start saying words or something, you know, but you know, but I thought that was just pretty cool. I thought it was a nice take on it. The zombie tiger that we all saw in the trailers, like, yeah. That was dope. And they, they even have a scene in there where, you know, he actually you see the tiger in action. It, it, it was it was everything. Like, it, it was all just juice. Uh, it was everything. But I never thought that I would care about the zombie lore the way I did in this movie. Like, there's actually a scene in here where you actually start to feel genuine emotion for a zombie. And wasn't expecting that. That shit was crazy. Also, the cinematography on this thing was off the chain. The set pieces, which is beautiful, and the camera angles, which is awesome. And okay, let me get off Zach's stick a little bit. So Zach is the one that also did the cinematography on this thing as well. Okay, and I gotta be honest, I've seen better. Not that it's bad or anything or nothing like that. Like he does a pretty good job with it. It's just his style of it is probably not what I would have picked for the entire for the for the entirety of this film. You know what I mean? Like the whole shoddy focus effect and, and the blurs and things like that. Like that that whole um, uh, depth of field that he does with it, with, with the, the way he shoots the movie and stuff. It, it works in some cases, but you know when you, when you have this whole when you have these set pieces kind of like out there, you know what I'm saying? You want to get a chance to kind of get a nice view of them. You know, it's kind of hard to really enjoy it when you just have this big ass blur behind you. You know what I mean? Behind the characters. And, and it, it, look, it, like I said, it works for some cases, like, you know, for really intense, you know, scary moments, I guess, because, you know, it's a zombie film, but ultimately, it got a little too problematic at least just for the whole like doing this throughout the entire film they didn't need to do all that you know i wanted to see a little bit more that you know that what he was that that with what they built you know what i'm saying and you know it just it kind of got a little strange on the eyes too you know but you know it's not the worst thing you know i kept thinking like why can't you just switch the lens bro just switch, just switch the lens Come on. i'm really impressed with how much i like this film i didn't expect it to go as hard as it did it's just a good time, man, and and I and, and I need some some good old zombie killing, blood splattering, half dead tigers in my life right now. You feel me? So I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. Glad Zach went back to you know what he does best, doing the thing that made him famous in the first place. And look, even if you're not a Zach's not a fan, you know at this point, I, I would still recommend the film because it's, it's just a nice. It's just a nice, you know, way to just get away from shit, you know, because, you know, these last couple of years have been kind of rough, you know, it's just, it's just nice to see some, some fluff, you know what I mean? But it was good. It was done right, and, and I appreciate it. So thank you again, Snyder, for your contribution to the cinema world. So that's my review on the actor's take on Army of the Dead. If you like this video, hit that like button. Help me out with the algorithm. I got to see y'all up in the you know, in the recommendations. And if you love this video, hit subscribe. Okay. I'll see you guys on the next one.